Great. Okay, we're going to be in our treasure chest committee meeting of November 17th, uh, 2022. Uh, first uh, order of business is to uh, make sure we have a quorum, and we certainly have a quorum of uh, committee members present. Excellent. Before we move on to old business, I'd like to take a moment to, um, in remembrance of our chair, Bim, who is no longer with us. Um, I had heard that she had passed recently, and I, for one, just want to say that for the limited time that I knew Bim, she tried to do all she could for this committee. She stepped up to be the chair of this committee when nobody would step up. And I gave her a lot of credit for that. Yeah, and that was pretty amazing. And she was willing and ready to do whatever. I'd call her on the phone, we'd have a chat. She'd tell me what she thought we should be doing. And she wanted to know what role she could play. And so we found that role that she could play that she was happy with. And, and, and very sweet and very nice. And her life was playing a lot of support, you know, in operations, working at uh, Cape Cod Hospital. And she told me of all the various things that she had done over the years at the hospital. And I was very amazed that she was one of those who, you know, certainly wasn't on the front lines like a nurse or a surgeon or something, but was there doing all the support services and was just amazing. And, you know, I give her all the credit in the world because, first of all, to be a volunteer takes a special person to step up. And for somebody to step up and say, hey, I'll, I'll take that chair, you know, and yeah, I'm not quite sure what's all, but I'll do it. And that takes somebody special. And, and that was recognized, and I'll miss her terribly. Yeah. I wish I knew her longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was acting until the very last days. Oh, yeah. Very That's much so. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. much so. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. I was saying, a tremendous know, woman, and, and unfortunately, just gone too soon. Yeah. So, you know, maybe just a couple of seconds of silence for Bim. You all know what Bim stood for, right? Her nickname? Yes, Bimbo. I <laughs> know. <laughs> yes. You knew, okay. Yes, she, she told me that. I didn't. What? Her I nickname was for Bimbo. Bimbo. I know. I yeah, just. Like, how did you get that name? She told me. Yeah. When they was a little kid. Loving yeah. your story. Yeah. But she loved it. Mm. I'll miss her. I've so known her, I know her for at least yeah. 25 yeah. years. Her real name. Oh her real name, Noella. Noella, Noella was Noella, yeah. It, yeah. Just a genuinely awesome beautiful person. So we'll miss her very much. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to our old business. Um, first is to accept the Treasure Chest Committee meeting minutes of September 22nd, 2022. Um, you each have a copy front and back. Just take a moment to look at it and then we'll vote on it. Just for the record, Chris Kaufman's um, new volunteer, her name begins with a K, not a C. Okay, I'll make that change. Any other comments or edits? Seeing none, can I have a motion to approve the meeting minutes of September 22nd, 2022 as amended? So moved. Give me a second. 
Aye. All those in favor? All in favor. Aye. 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 Awesome. Okay, we're going to move on to our second old business agenda item, which is a conflict of interest training for treasure chest committee members. And um, Heather has completed hers, and I uh, haven't asked Cindy if you've done your conflict of interest training. No, I haven't. You were going to give me a sheet so I know where to go and what do I do. I thought I gave you a, a handout. Never no. Had a okay, I will. Put something else in your hand. It's, okay. it's something you can do online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can actually just go to the town hall. They've got it all set up. You just push the button and. Yep. Yeah. Not the town hall. Sorry. Library. Library. Yeah. Library. I didn't mean to say town. Library. I'll, I'll work on that with you. And then the, you. The, the third person was Sheila. And I'm not, she's out of town now, so I'm not sure if she has followed through on that. But Rini has, Rini and, she, and Eileen, who is not here right now. Um, and Mary, when you get sworn in. Yeah, that's probably the same, one, same conflict of interest I do at school, I'm assuming. It's not Corey. No, no, it's, no it's con we do conflict of interest. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do it as well for the state. Yeah. state. So, you yeah. know, I can. We probably have, the same thing. Yeah. You have to provide something for town hall saying that you. Yeah, usually they have a sheet at the end that you submit. I've done it, but I owe you documentation oh, yeah. to that effect. Oh, please, okay. Because um, I have, like, I have to do it for, to, you know, it's a state obligation requirement sure. as well. Yeah. So, okay. Excellent. So keep on us and make sure we all do it. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's important. Okay, um, third old business item is uh, discussion of winter hours. And I'll let you um, start with well, that. Well, first of all, we are faced with the um, reality that Christmas and New Year's are on a weekend this year. So according to our guidelines, we're closed Christmas and New Year's. Um, and both of them are Sundays. So that means Saturday is Christmas Eve and Sunday is Christmas Day. Saturday is New Year's Eve. Yes. Sunday is New Year's Day. I would like to propose that we not open that we weekend. Yeah. That um, our volunteers are have given us a lot, and um, you know I think it, it it would be understand. I think the public would understand if I do too. If we. Um, um, so you want to be closed <coughs> both of those weekends? Both both weekends, both days of both weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So any discussion? No, that's well, fine. That sounds good to me. I could tell you. I remember people shopping on the 24th for Christmas at the I church. Yeah, I've done yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 and yeah. so I, I think if we're going to do that, we need to get the message out to folks that we aren't going to be open. Yeah. Because they're, they're used to us being. Yeah, they're like, that's gifts. their last minute they're gift shopping. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, I mean, for me, I know Saturdays. people get them. I don't mind. I mean, it's up to you guys, but. I think I don't do Saturdays. Yeah, work, yeah. I don't know that that day before Christmas is a day that I really feel we should be open if we and can. Not you know. Before, even New Year's Day. Hmm. We've always done it, so open, for me so it's like why start changing everything. I mean, I'm not a volunteer, so I don't know if they have other obligations or not. I just know that you, need you know. To ask the volunteers? Yeah, you might want to know, and find out if they have staffing or not. But if you have staffing for it, then I'm available the 24th. I, mean, yeah. I know that for sure. So. And Keith, well, we're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. Our son's in South Carolina. Yeah, I mean, well, I think it's up to the committee to vote. No, and I get that. Uh, so that we can I, maybe we can. Well, we can't table it because it'll happen before. Yeah, it's it's something we. Well, I I I'd, I'd vote at least that you were open. Please the day before Christmas to allow folks an opportunity to, you know, patrons to come and, and, and take what they need or, and, you know, whether it be a gift Christmas for themselves tree, or, last yeah, minute. a last Christmas ornament tree. or something. It, well, I would yeah, vote that also. I would vote that yeah. also, but we, you'd have, we'd have to make sure we have people who want to volunteer that day. Well, make day. it contingent upon having enough. 
I mean, if, if you have enough you know, volunteers, then then be open. But if you don't, then you know. And do you think a, ha a half day then, or it has yeah. to, should it be a full day of open? A full day. Full day. Keith and I, are the outside people, and she's saying yes for him, and I'm saying yes. So. I'd like to see it. Okay. Personally, I just, you know. People are in need. Are in need. I, they are. And, you know, we're here to serve. And I hate to be shut down on, on both of those weekends. They come right one after another. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think it's important that we are open those days. Maybe what I could do is put a word out there for people that I know, you know, um, that you're saying that if you have any extra gifts or anything, maybe bring them so that people could pick up, you know, people that I know. Because it would be nice if somebody can afford something that they would be able to have that opportunity, you know? It's amazing giving something to somebody and having them look at it and like, oh my God, you know, it touches them. And, and that's really important. So, you know, I think that makes it all worthwhile. For me. So, yeah, let's see if we can do Should that. So I would... Take a motion? So somebody make a... I'm, I'll make the motion that we are open Christmas Eve day and New Year's Eve day. And that we would be closed on Christmas and New Year's. And if a volunteer doesn't want to work, they don't have to. Yeah. We've got, I've got other people that will, so. Yeah. Any further discussion, or can I have a second? I, I second it. Second. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, abstained, or are you in uh, the affirmative? Vote. I'm still vote. catching okay. up with Emily, yeah. And you're voting to do it as well? Well, I'm really only, I only want to vote for Christmas Eve Day. Not New Year's? Not New Year's Eve Day. Why? Um, I just feel people deserve a break, you know, people volunteers. People are out there wanting to something do something. to do. Well, ma majority, go, majority rules. Majority no, rules. no, but I'm saying we're there, you know what I mean? And yep. we see it and we know that people need it, you know? Yep. They want it. If we're willing to do it, for us to open. <laughs> we want to be there. To <laughs> I think it's nice. Well, the, the women that are in their 80s, they're, they're like every single weekend. I have to walk Rosie from yeah. inside to outside. She can't even walk. And she's like, thank you, thank you, every weekend for opening. She's yeah. been there for 22 years, and she's like thanking us that wow. she's able to work every day. That's their whole life. Yeah. Yeah. And that their whole for them. So yeah, that, that concludes commitment. the weekend discussion. Um, the, the months of January and February, do you have any thoughts on if our hours should be the same or if we should yeah. look ahead and abbreviate them somewhat just getting through those two rough months? Um, well, I'm not going to stay and work a five-hour shift. And who's going to come in for an hour or two? Yeah, yeah. That Say that sense. again. I said I'm not going to stay and work a five-hour shift when I normally work a three-hour shift. Right. Well, four-hour for me. But right. I'm not going to stay those extra two hours, and who's going to come in for two hours in an afternoon? So you're saying I don't understand what you're saying. Though. I say stay open the whole day, like we always. We always have. have. Keep, Why keep do it we nine. Have to keep changing. Nine things? to three. I, th oh, I mean, this, this works. I think I what it is, is it, when it's so, like we all said that, okay, if it's uh, 20 degrees or less, oh, yeah. then, it's, then it's, we're closing because of the cold. I mean, it's other than that, we voted to do a year-round operation, and we should do a year-round operation. Sure. Yeah, I agree. I'm just looking back to the, the rough days we had in July when it was so mm -hmm. hot, and um, we made abbreviations there. And the public really supported us. They, they were amazed that we, we opened when we did, and they were very, very um, concerned with, you know, the volunteers um, staying, staying cool. And there were a lot of donations of water. Of people and brought us cases of water and right. fruit and all kinds of stuff. Right. As you know, I'm an outside person, and I spent all winter outside every weekend with her husband, and we could handle it. So if we can do it, then then you know, people still come. The only we thing is... We do it inside heated. Yes, but the thing is, is we're outside, and the thing is, is um, what I feel, when it's too cold, you guys call the shots when it's going to be cold, cold. You know, like, you know, yep. otherwise we can handle it. And yeah. I think also, the, you oh, know, we've done it for years. So. Giving the uh, DPW a chance to clear, you know, the, do the plowing, 
and making it safe. So what I did, Ellie and I had this chat. So, you know, back in the day when I'd be the first person to show up on a Saturday or Sunday at 7.30, you know, if it had yeah, snowed or whatever, you know, you've got to chip the ice, you've got to take everything, you've got to put down salt. You know, you've got to think of the safety of the patrons, and you've got to clean the walkways and make sure everything is set for them so when they get there, they can enjoy the experience. And that takes a bit of effort. And sometimes in the winter, you know, even if the DPW is spreading salt and doing that, you know, until you get the sun on the salt and it warms up a little bit, it doesn't really have a chance to react. And you know what that parking lot can be sometimes. It can be really slippery. Or, you know, the parking lot, and then you have the asphalt walkway to get into the entry door. And if you haven't chipped off the ice and shoveled that, and, you know, that could be a slip, trip, or fall hazard. So, you know, what I was saying to Ellie, if you were looking to change the hours, I probably would have opened it up instead of 9 at 10, just to give folks more time to prep it to make sure it was safe for patrons to enjoy. Because I know in the past it's, it's been difficult to prep it, and the last thing you want to do is have somebody hurt themselves. But, you know, to the extent that you have folks who show up early who will do the cleanup and, and get all that ready, then, you know, open up. But if you don't, then, you know, you might have to postpone it until a point where, you know, you feel it's safe enough to open the doors and let people in. But in the past, we've always had people, so I don't, you know, I'm fine leaving it at 9, if you have people who are showing up 7.30 or 8 and spending that hour shoveling snow, chipping ice, throwing well, salt. Sunday mornings you won't. I have asthma. I can't do it. Rosie can't do it. Norma can't do it. Chris and Andres get well, in. We have Chris. But, Andres um, probably won't. Yeah, I don't see Andre chipping ice and, no, and, and no. doing all that. Yeah. It's, that's tough. That's, I mean... We're leaving ourselves. I mean, if it's that bad, we'll just close. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm that that's option. what we've always said. So what's the big deal? Again. No, and I'm fine with that, but I mean. If going to be a big storm, we we'll try and post it on Facebook. That's, or that's the only instance somewhere. where I think that we would want to close yeah. just for the safety of the patrons. Right. Mm. Right. Um, but other than that, leave the hours as is. I think Link did a good job. You can follow either the town and Link called the and shots. And Link will close. That's right. You know, they all, they all talk Sometimes he brings up that. No, and their people are great. You know, they'll come up and they'll spread salt and they'll, they'll clear too. But sometimes it just takes that salt to, a while. It takes that sun to be shining on that asphalt a little bit to get it going. But um, so let's, uh, it sounds like we should just stick to the hours. And pay attention to the weather. Yeah. And um, if conditions are such that you, we think that there may be an issue with patron safety, then, you know, maybe we don't open it up exactly, you know, open it up when it's safe to open it up. But other than that, you know, and make sure we have salt and supplies and the things that we need and, you know, the chippers and stuff, like typically we would grab that, you know, when we saw it come in. Now we can't just go grab that you know, which is kind of tough because we used to grab stuff for our own use and now we don't have it to... Well, if I get there early and shop on my half hour and I see one, I'll grab it for yes. the chest. Yes, just make sure we have, a, have enough of that on hand so when we need it, we have it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never used it. Well, thanks. That's good discussion. Okay, we're going to move on to our new business agenda items. Um, the first one is the appointment of Mary Moody to the Treasure Chest Committee. I'd like to welcome Mary, but I hear you haven't officially been appointed. No, Emily and I are chasing each other around. So. Excellent. So there. You're, 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 you're here monitoring the activities. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It, it'll be a pleasure to have you on yeah, board. Um, and I know you know the Treasure Chest operation well. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you do indeed. So this, this, none of this will be new to you. Nope. So. Thank you very much for volunteering and to be a, a member of the Treasure Chest Committee. Okay. Glad to see it open again. Super committee. Mm -hmm. Super people. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, our next uh, new business item is a reorganization of the Treasure Chest Committee officers. Again, we've lost BIM, and 
with that we need a new chair. And I like to make the motion that that new chair be Ellie. I mean, Ellie as a vice that's chair. Up to the selectmen to choose who we want. No, we choose. They appoint. They, we appoint officers. They they appoint committee members, but we select officers. Yeah, we, have, we have no role in this. So that's up to us. So, firstly, I, I would do. I would do the clerking still. So if you want me to be the clerk, yes, I would, I would continue to do the clerking. So how about a motion to that effect? We want you to be our clerk. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a second to that? Second. Uh, okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I will, I'm willing to be the chair if there is a vice chair. <laughs> I, I've been acting chair since Bim stepped down and um, Gladly done, did it, but really need to go forth with some help. And um, I don't want to burn out. <laughs> I want to keep being able to do this, but it's it's starting to take a toll. It's, it's requiring a lot of my strength, and I just want to be able to um, do a good job with um, the help of someone else. Well, with that said. I'd like to make the motion to uh, have Ellie become the new chair of the Treasure Trust Committee. Do I have a second to that? Anybody else want to be chair? Somebody make a motion then to have somebody else be chair. Does anybody else want to step up and be chair? You could if you want to. I mean, I'd rather have, you know. How about you, Cindy? You want to second it? Heather? I think we have a couple things that we're uncomfortable with, and I think it's, you know, but I don't, you know, I don't know if now's the time right this minute to talk about it. So, it's fine. You know, so. Rini? Um, I'll second it. Okay. So I have a, I made the motion, and you seconded it. Yeah. Um, nobody's brought any other person of the committee uh, and nominated them for chair. So given that, um, can I have a motion then to um, appoint Ellie as the new chair of the Treasure Chest Committee? Mm -hmm. Yes. I All in favor? Aye. Aye. Raise of hands. I got three. Opposed? For now, yep. Okay. Three to two. The motion carries. And I have, yep. okay. So that leaves the vice chair position, because um, Ellie certainly needs the help. <laughs> so anybody want to nominate anybody uh, of the committee to be the vice chair? What does the vice chair do? Uh, support Ellie. Yeah, support, yeah. But I'm not here you yet. You can't, yeah. That's why I was waiting for you to be well, on we board. Could, we, we could defer the, it. if you're interested, we can table the vice chair until you become a full time, as soon as you're appointed a full time committee member of the treasure chest. We can come back, circle back to this, and we could appoint you as vice chair if, you know, there were a majority of the committee want. I mean, are you interested? Uh, well, I don't even know what it entails. It'll be simple. Simple? <laughs> It'll be simple. Um, yeah. Are you interested in... No, I mean, I'm not. I, okay. I just think that I mean, if she's not... I, I need, what I'm saying is, uh, my thought is, why don't we find someone that knows um, a little bit, I'm not saying this, but someone that that's going to be able to back her that knows what's going on. I'm not saying that we have someone yet, but it would be so nice So who would that be in the room? Do, does it have to be someone right this second? <clears throat> Well, it has to be someone on the committee. It has to be somebody on the committee. Okay. Yeah. All right. Kind of, it can, okay, yeah. That's fine. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, we, we have what we have in the room. Yeah. Okay. So, we can you know, if I'm willing to table the discussion for, you know, the vice chair until Mary's appointed, if she would, you know, if she has interest. And it seems like she does. So. Yeah. So are we good with tabling the vice chair position until 
Mary's a full-time member of the committee? Absolutely. I just want to bring this up that I had brought it up outside. I wasn't, you know, but um, when people are part of the committee, it would be nice if the people that we actually knew that were part, like volunteering at the treasure chest or something, so they kind of, like, like um, you, people knew what was happening day to day over there. That was my only concern, is that people that are on, you know, that are, that they really, you know, if we're having a discussion about something that's happening in, at the treasure chest and the people are not there to see what's happening, it's really a difficult. Yeah. That's, that's my only concern, <laughs> you know? Mary knows she has been to the treasure chest oh, yes. many times she's as a patron. I mean, she's okay. very, yes. very, yeah. very yeah. familiar Good. with the operations. Right. Uh, this isn't new to her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let, me, let me suggest that you have this whole discussion now. Because you're saying you are discussing all of this meeting, you're violating a lot of rules. So if you have concerns, express them here on the table. So we can, well, that's why I did. Just don't carry it through. Because well, you're not because you're, you're trying to postpone the vice chair. I didn't. I didn't. I, I, I was just concerned that, so like I said, you know, there's a few people that I have. I don't really know you. I'm sorry, but, you know, so I'm sorry that I may have heard, you know. I, I, have, I just don't know you personally at the treasure chest. No. So and that's holding that's you back from following. No, I just have to bring up how I feel because I, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know her, so that was my comment. That's all. You know, I've seen Mary B. at the treasure chest for as long as I can remember as a customer, as a patron. Well, I drop things off there a lot. Yeah. Too. So I, I remember No, I'm that. saying, so I just brought that yeah. up because yeah, yeah. I, I haven't. That's so, yeah. Yeah. So we'll table it at the moment. We'll circle back to it at our next meeting. You'll be appointed by then, and we'll have a um, full set of officers at that point. Excellent. Okay, um, next agenda item is discussion of the mass DEP textile ban and, and what that means to the treasure chest when it comes to throwing away, you know, textiles and other clothing and garments and what have you. And there is a ban. So I, I know in, in accordance with the ban, you know, if things are tattered and soiled and dirty, you are allowed to throw it away. Um, if they can be reused, they shouldn't be thrown away. But So we can throw clothes away in the trash? You can. I know the regulation. And if, Very yeah, if they are soiled or dirty and, and can't be reused, then they can be tossed. Okay. But That's our we throw away at the treasure chest. It is. I mean, so, 30, so it can't be tossed. Yep. We can just throw it in the dumpster now. Well, go ahead. Can't I don't think I don't think they're quite ready with a, um, what to do. From what I've talked to to Cody, I've talked to Cody about it, and um, he knows that as far as we go right now with putting um, clothes we don't want that it, it don't get taken from us into the Red Cross bins. But as far as pillows, blankets, yeah. etc., we have been putting them into the trash. But according to this ban, mm -hmm. now we should be putting them into a different place. Its, it was own, area, its own like, area. Like cardboard. Yes, I, I believe so. In uh, there was a, an article in the Globe last week about from the town of Brookline and the, how they are doing it. And um, so I, I think each town has to maybe come up with a process. Yeah. And I don't think we're there yet. Okay. So where we so are, should we just what we are, hang on to the clothes? Well, we, the clothing we can still pass along to the Red Cross. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten a green light on what to do with the pillows, sheets, towels. So we should be. I am assuming we're, we're going to we store all that. No, stuff. we're not because yeah, we can't we can't be storing it um, and just putting it into the dumpster for now. So I, I think that's where we are right now. I'm going to try to keep on top of it. So if it changes, I'm very proud of the way we we're able to move the books along. They, they, you know, we Janet goes through them. They get placed out and taken appropriately. And the ones we can't take, we bring down to the the bins at the at the um, transfer station. Um, we've been really good about keeping that 
flowing. The, really? No surplus? That's awesome. That's never happened. No, it, <laughs> and it, it makes a big difference. That's, that's, um, that's great. But, and we're doing a good, you know, Cody's doing a good job with get, keeping the, the dumpster emptied on a weekly basis. So we're getting well supported. Mm -hmm. So this is a, bl a, a bump in the road that we haven't quite tackled yet. But um, looking, I'm going to try to keep, I'm going to keep on top of it and see how we should move forward. Because um, it, it impacts how we sort things, you know, how we yeah. So are things. you saying that the clothes that, that are soiled or whatever, we're, you, we're putting them into the Red Cross bin? If, um, it's awful. If As opposed to the dumpster, I thought we were just if it's if it's typically there was like okay, the good stuff goes to the patrons, the semi good stuff ended up in you know the Red Cross box, yeah. and the stuff that was tattered and soiled gets tossed. If if it reaches that you know I, I respect the judgment of the, the the people that are sorting you know if they judge that it, it's usable. And then I understand them putting it into the Red Cross box, if they can clearly see that it's you know it's you know not beyond use. And I always think we try to be, we try to throw away as little as possible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I do have a problem. Can I bring it up? I mean, mm -hmm. we can talk about it at another yeah. meeting, but I want to get it out yeah. here. Sunday mornings when I come in, the tables outside are empty, and I mean empty. There is nothing to put on them and you look over at the dumpster and the dumpster is full. Everything is getting thrown out Saturday night. The people come in Sunday morning and say, where is everything? Tables are empty. This so, has been happening. So my, su my suggestion is I remember this happening and the thought was, you know, we have lots of bins and, you know, if it was outside and when you're cleaning up at the end of the day, it wasn't going in the trash. We were putting them into, you know, the blue buckets or, or the bins, and then they were going and in. It was nice weather. You yeah. it and then we were the putting them in the book trailer. Outside. You know, so yes. then you could go into the book trailer right. first thing in the morning. You well, you grab your there you not, and, all this good stuff and you have in those the metal dumpster. racks. We're pulling stuff out, me and Norma. You Sunday you morning. have those metal racks that are in yes. the the book storage. So just take those plastic bins. Fill them with the stuff that's on the table, the glassware, the smalls, stick them into those, and then first thing in the morning, then, then you have the stuff to put out. And shop. it doesn't end in the trash. Thank you. Easy enough. It's been going on for too long. So just, to throw stuff just away. make We're sure that the folks the who dumpster. work the afternoon well, this is know Heather that that would be. The what? This, we, are, we do Saturday cleanup. Well, uh, the whole crew. Right. But, but the thing is, is what so was happening. Um, is yeah that's fine um, what was happening is like when we had so many overrun with glasses and this and this would get rid of the stuff but I try to what anything that I think is halfway decent I try to save but yeah. we do clear off the tables you know so yeah, well, well I like I, I do point. feel good if I'm leaving there and the place looks neat yeah I, I mean know, I, I know kids can get in and it would be a wonder it would they'd have a ball knocking things off the table and it's I've been there. In, I've been there in the it winter time, and, and the rain has got to it, or snow's got to it, or whatever. If but, you know the weather, you know it's going to be windy. You know it's going to yeah. rain or snow. You bring it in in the bins, like we I can tell did. you. Yes. But to throw it in the dumpster. No, let's so not. Let's just not. To make let's the place let's look neat. There's let's wrong. put it in the plastic okay. bins. Let's get it out of the elements, and then in the morning, Thank just you. go get them out of the shelf, I'm, and then the stuff goes early, back out. Just because there's nothing for me to do. Uh -huh. There's nothing to clean up. There's nothing to put away. But the so bins could go right under the tables. Anywhere. Exactly. They could, under but, you know, we, exactly. it, it's just as easy to put them in that gray shed, too. You know, the book shed. And, the, and to pull them right out. So, you know, maybe you could consider that. Because I think that's how we have done it. Sunday afternoon is when you do that kind of cleanup. Not Saturday. You've got to leave things for people to see. Mm -hmm. To shop. There's good stuff that is going in the dumpster. That's all I'm saying. Me and Norma, every Sunday morning, all that stuff out. Yeah, and the last thing we want is volunteers or patrons digging through the trash. And, and they do. I know. You can find your best stuff in the trash. It's got it. I, I, yeah, no doubt. So, but try that. I think that would work. Thank you. Okay. Bins, bins. 
Um, we got lots of bins. <laughs> we do. So we've talked about treasure chest operations during Christmas and New Year's weekend in our earlier discussion items, so we've taken care of that. Can I add um, stickers to the agenda, or are we locked in? No, I think you could because they've been on, on our agenda in the past. I, I, I'll look at that as old business. Okay, old business. We're doing a great job selling stickers. We've sold I over six. How many we've sold? Close to sixty. Wow. And um, you know, I've, I've been able to have a, a supply on hand. Um, I'm wondering if this is our form for for this uh, Larry or not. The, the stickers we're giving up out right now say 2023. And people are wondering if that means they'll expire next June or next December. I vote for next December. Yeah, we can set that for the calendar year. That's it can? We can say that? I think it would be a really good idea to get it in a, a be on a different cycle than the the fiscal year. Yeah. Yeah. Take it to the end of the calendar year. And then, and then January 2024, we'll have a different color. How, yes, I was going to okay. say, how about alternating the colors? I mean, well, also, the people have the old one. Sticker, right? Yeah, they have the same one. But also, the stickers absolutely have to be made right. We're still having the problem with the sticker is not right. They don't stick. That has to be. Yeah. Huh? No, I meant they are supposed to stick from, you know, on the inside. Yeah, on the inside, and they don't. Yeah, and they stick on, yeah. Right, they're on the wrong side. So they did the a lot same of thing. People put it on a piece of cardboard and just hold it up when they yeah. drive by. So the stickers are wrong. I mean, the glue, you know. So. Well, so perhaps that's something that. Um, we have a year now to solve this. Yes. Why are they wrong again? I like my Okay. The sticker, they, they can't go on the outside of the car. I'll put it on the inside. But the, there's no way to put it on the inside because it doesn't stick. So you have to actually They're find a piece stick of tape. They're on the outside of your windshield, and they should be on the inside. Because it just wears off. And then people peel them off. I put mine on my windshield, on my rear view window. Yeah, they're just not made correct because they just wash right off. They're stuck on the wrong side. I'm not privy to who makes or issues. Well, I'm privy to who issues, but how they're made, I'm not sure. I just know that the stickers get uh, you know Whether they're put together manufactured I'm not sure who does it for us and but the stickers for the town and everything are done right so they never wash off they never never come off so like in other words they stick them on the outside and the windshield wipers and everything else just wash them right away so yeah I always thought they were meant supposed to be on the inside but too. there's no stick there's no glue so you there's have nothing. to tape them I yeah, use yeah. clear tape yeah. so. So well the ones that we have now are, are good to when we're just saying to December 2023, so we have so time we have a to while. To, we, yeah, yeah. We, we we can come back to this, um, no problem. And perhaps you know whoever is um, producing the stickers for us, you know we can make that comment and maybe they can change the way that they're constructed so they work the way we want them to. Yeah, I think it's not our. I think it's something that select has to you know has to but solve. Now they, they say uh, year 23. Is that what they say? Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We have time. But I've been asked when, when will it expire, and now I feel safe saying December. I mean, check that, see how that yeah. Goes. Okay. Because I know I've worked. We work by using that also to collect the feed and cover the cost of stickers. Nice. So then we maybe we may have to may have to do that again. Yeah. Because we double check that. Okay. So the money's from the stickers. Who are you bringing that money to? The treasurer. Awesome. Treasure office. Awesome. Great. Yep. And that's working out, people. You got enough stickers and I try to yeah. I think there was one or two one you know, it was a time when we ran out, so we let the people in yeah, and they came back. Started, I yeah. yeah. It's worked great for us just doing the No, money. it's awesome. It's, it's, but I don't no more hassle. But I don't want it to be the only way to get stickers. I want I want us to be a last resort. Yeah. True. Because it's a it's a it holds big up job. the traffic. Yeah. But it, it certainly beats sending somebody away, having yeah. somebody angry, you know, all of that that we used to have to go through. You know, if they can just purchase their sticker there and, you know, enjoy the experience, I think that's a great thing. So, excellent. 
we really have no other agenda items um, other than to like set the to, go ahead uh, yeah I'd like to um, Eric reminded me that it's uh, um, hasn't been done in the past but if there's some way we could acknowledge the good work the volunteers are doing at, um, at this time and I was wondering about the idea of um, opening up my house on the 17th and inviting from like four to six all the volunteers oh, isn't to nice? come by and just nice. wow. cheer, cheer each other on it would be like the last weekend before the holiday <coughs> and um, if you want if you think it's a good idea I'm willing to do it it's very gracious yeah um, I'm not a volunteer but I think it's a wonderful idea <laughs> She means everybody. She's saying she's not invited. I'm like, oh no. Did you, did you, who did you mean? Just the volunteers? No, I think it's wonderful that Ellie's going to open her home to the volunteers because I think you volunteers work so hard. I'm not a volunteer, but I've been up there. But People work really hard for work us. hard. Yeah. We appreciate what well, you've done for us. Yeah. I know that Nothing. in the past we've all to That's something else I noticed. Our brand new building. Yeah, really. Black hole. I can't go in there. Spray it. With what? You know, I'm thinking a, a Lysol or something Jones like that. Or Go online. You'll find out. Yeah, but who's going to do it? She can't do it. She can't, can't do it. it. Yeah. Asthma. I'm not going near that. No, you should sit outside now, and I won't be sitting outside with asthma in the cold. Mm -hmm. So that hole has got to go. Where's it? It's, it's all up on top. I think it came about when we had that torrential rain. Like we got four inches of rain in 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And the building got saturated, and it's just... Oh. Growing and growing. That's I'm the only there every other the week, and I'm watching it grow. It's getting she worse. About the no, you're Norma, the one Bev, would they do it? Boot. You know, get a, like a, you know, a, well, a let me mop ask, or something, let me ask and with you know, less soil or or something, you know, something like that, and just wash it and disinfect it. Okay. Um, I have one of those pumps that you know you spray your house for dis disinfect. Yep. Yeah. But I'm saying you probably could do bleach and water yes. in that. Yeah. Yeah. All of that up. The, the little shed. The little shed. The shed yeah. thing. Yeah. That they built for I'm us. still going to yeah. see if you could see if we can get it insulated a little when it is real cold. Cause That's a good idea. I'm sure they will. I didn't want it, but I love it now. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. But we need to do something. No, like it's, I'd be happy to. Yeah, I think it's you. Do you want it? We were, Heather was just talking about that maybe we could request that the shed have some insulation for when it gets really cold. Um, do you think we could? I could approach the director of operations, the fellow I work with before, whose name I'm Sean. not recalling. Yeah, Sean, Sean yeah. Yes. By all means, yeah. He was yeah. so gracious. I, I'd be happy to ask him. What would insulate? What are you insulating, though? It, ask him if there are better ways that you could it winterize it that's all winterize yeah. and yeah. just I mean, say hey you know for the winter yeah. months you know is there anything we can do to winterize this it right. was great in the summer but now it's getting a little chilly yeah, right. I'd be happy to talk to you them. know whether that be a little space heater that you know we can run a you know or you know they want us out there they got they have to they can't freeze us no and I get that hey we used to not have the shed and we'd be standing out I there know. And, you know, know in the elements know in the winter time so it is a great you know wind protector it is it yeah. is when when it's windy that yeah. it's a great we also didn't have stick you know the sticker thing back when it was really too bad yeah. too so we didn't have the force to stand out there yeah but yeah so I'll talk to that'd be great they need to keep us warm <laughs> i'll just put winterize shed winterize yeah, yeah. Anything well, else? You have to go. You want to well, do I, I'm thinking we're almost done. Okay. We are. Thank you. I do have to go, but I've been kind of watching the you agenda. Would, yeah, you'd ask me. So when do you want to meet again? Well, fairly soon, so we can do something about Mary. Well, that's true. Well, at our next meeting, she would be appointed, and, you know, if she's still desirous of being the vice chair of, of the committee, then that's a beautiful thing. And we'll just make that happen at our next meeting. So, but do you want to wait till the new year for the next meeting? Yeah. 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 Too many other obligations that's what I was beforehand. Thinking. It's going to get busy. Yeah. So in January, we have the 12th, the 19th, the Thursday. I, I can do either of those. I can do either of those. 
Whatever you say. Make it the 12th and we'll. Yeah, that's sure. about, yeah. yeah. About two months from now, that's when it works. Just remind me, okay? I didn't hear. <laughs> January 12th. January 12th. Thank you. At five. Oh, and Bim used to say, I'll make sure we line up the building. So, if there's nothing further to discuss, can I have a motion to adjourn? So, we'll move. Motion to adjourn. Okay. Oh, so, I, I, Ellie, do you have a second? I'll take a I'll second. second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. You know, I'm not going to see you before Thanksgiving, but I, I'll see you. Well, I'll come down for your. Are you coming the 17th? I'll, I'll come on the 17th if, okay. if I'm invited. So. And I'm thinking just like four to six, N nothing. Yeah. And Ellie, yeah. Can, we're all happy to bring things. You let yeah. us know. Yeah. I'll, you know, whatever. We'll make it easy. Maybe do a telephone Some chain or something. Or yeah. Yeah. Let us know what we can bring, if mm -hmm. anything. Are you going to do a, like a potluck or just cookies? Or just oh, just, yeah. Just, just snacks. Meal. Just appetizers yeah. or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I want cookies. a full seven course meal. Warm <laughs> cider. <laughs> So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Larry. Did you turn off? Is this off? Or? Well, but you can't have open discussion after you join the meeting. That's the point. Right. No, I know. We're just talking as friends. <laughs> but you can't do that either. Not, not as a group. Oh. Exactly. You can't have Without more. I was just talking to you. <laughs> that was a mistake uh, I was pointing out. When you mentioned Heather, you had a discussion outside. That's, gonna, oh, that's right. not good. Yeah. We're gonna oh. that. It's going to come back to it. What do you mean? Because you have to have the uh, You can't. You, can't, you, have, you have to do a group meeting. You can't have a majority of committee members discuss.